despite its vast fertile farmlands, Nigeria still imports food from different parts of the world. Among them are both genetically modified and non-genetically modified foods. Many Nigerians consume these foods without knowing their contents, loving such foods more because, to them, imported foods or products are better. With numerous food products imported into the country, the Minister of Agriculture, Akimumi Adishina, had earlier this month denied the presence of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, in the country. We have in this country nothing called GMO. There is no GMO in this country. However, a survey carried out by AIT shows that GMO foods are being imported and consumed by Nigerians, most times unknowingly. This is sweet corn. I got it from a supermarket here in Abuja. People are tripling in and out to buy this food without knowing it is genetically modified suspects. So how does one know which food is GMO or not GMO? In the U.S., there are currently only nine crops that are being genetically modified. That is corn, canola, soybean, cotton, sugar beets, alfalfa, Hawaiian papaya, zucchini, and yellow crookneck squash. So at this time, those are the only foods that you need to worry about, but you should recognize that many of these foods are used widely as ingredients in pretty much any processed, prepackaged, junk, or fast foods that you might encounter. Most of our foods come from the U.S. And you know, in U.S., I think about 91% or thereabouts of their products from soy are GM. Because we don't have a biosafety law in place, we cannot totally say that there are no GM products in the country. When they want to export, if you have no law or anything, they send it to your country. We have nothing against import of uh, genetically modified crops or products thereof. So it can be dumped on us and we can eat it. Even those who do not want to eat it. You have also maize as well. And you know, we import some of these things, some of these products. I'm not saying they are seeds, but products from this, either complex or Kellogg's complex or whatever, you can't really say. To address and monitor these products, with a view to sensitizing Nigerians on their nutritional values or otherwise. The National Biotechnology Development Agency, NABDA, organized this trade workshop. What we have done is to put in place the regulations prescribing what anybody who wants to import should do. The steps that that, that person must follow to be able to bring in anything all the procedures that the person must follow you know before he or she can bring in anything whether it is for food or non-food for the government to properly regulate and monitor this kind of food experts say there is need for the country to adopt biosafety bill for proper regulation ngozi onyejaku ait news abuja